Today I, I want to talk to you about fibroids, a common concern for many women who are trying to conceive. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop within the muscle of the uterus surrounding the cavity of the uterus and they can affect up to 10% of the infertile population. Please stay to the end of the video so that you can see the special advice that I'm going to leave you with that relates to the treatment of fibroids. They can vary in size from very small to quite large and may cause symptoms such as heavy menstrual bleeding, iron deficiency anemia, pelvic pain, infertility, miscarriages and pelvic pressure symptoms. However, not all fibroids cause symptoms and many women with fibroids may still have successful pregnancies. Can you treat fibroids medically? Now, current medical treatment for fibroids suppresses ovulation, so it drops the estrogen because fibroids grow under estrogen guidance, and it has the potential then to interfere in endometrial development and implantation. So when you're on medication to treat your fibroids, you can't fall pregnant. So there is no role for medical therapy as a standalone treatment for fibroids if you are struggling to conceive. Removing fibroids is known as a myomectomy. Most fibroids can be removed effectively using minimally invasive techniques such as a laparoscopy, and or a hysteroscopy. These methods are far less invasive than traditional open surgeries which we refer to as a laparotomy. A laparoscopy in capable hands typically results in quicker recovery times and fewer complications. But unfortunately I see many patients having recently had a myomectomy via a laparoscope and then when I scan them they still have lots of fibroids on ultrasound. They are then told that the fibroids have grown back. Now we know fibroids take at least three to five years to reach a size that you can then see them on ultrasound. So in order to prevent this and to be able to remove all the fibroids I perform intraoperative vaginal ultrasound to enable me to locate them and remove them all at the time of my laparoscopy or a hysteroscopic procedure. Be aware of being told that an attempt at laparoscopy will be done but you must also sign for a laparotomy. If you've been advised to undergo major open surgery for fibroid removal, which is as I said also known as a laparotomy, I strongly urge you to seek a second opinion. Widespread use of laparoscopic and the hysteroscopic approach to myomectomy may be limited by technical difficulty of this procedure. Patient selection must be individualized based on the number, the size and the location of these fibroids and most importantly the skill of your surgeon. Inappropriate surgeries, particularly those that are more invasive than necessary, can cause scarring in both your pelvis and your uterus and compromise your natural fertility and potentially affect your ability to conceive in the future. It is also important to understand that fibroids, while potentially problematic, may not be the sole reason you're having trouble conceiving. There are many factors that contribute to infertility and a comprehensive fertility evaluation of the couple is essential to determine the underlying causes and the best course of action for treatment. When looking for a second opinion or specifically seeking a fertility clinic to help you on your journey to parenthood, please ensure you consult with a SASREG accredited fertility clinic. At Vitalab, we are proud to be SASREC accredited in line with the new updated accreditation and we specialize in providing personalized care and advanced treatments to help you achieve your dream of parenthood. Don't settle for one opinion, explore your options and make informed decisions about your reproductive health. One last word of advice and very important advice and that is, Women, fertile or infertile, seeking future pregnancies should never, and I repeat, 
never be offered uterine artery embolization as a treatment option for uterine fibroids. This results in lower pregnancy rates, higher miscarriage rates, and more adverse pregnancy outcomes than after a myomectomy. Uterine artery embolization is also associated with loss of your egg reserve, especially in reproductively older patients. Thank you for watching and remember, we're here to support you every step of the way. If you have enjoyed the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting the VitaLab YouTube channel, we would love to see you again. So please subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss our next installment. So until next time, please take care.